Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today I'm out on an adventure. I am very close to the Grayson Highlands, Mount Rogers area, and I came out last night. I wouldn't say it was a mistake, but I didn't sleep very well. It rained and stormed all night long, but yeah, I just didn't sleep very good. I wanted to get out here early this morning, and I figured that was a great way to do it. So, uh, yeah, I have a little bit of a headache just from a lack of sleep, but this coffee will definitely do the trick. This is a military surplus overnight adventure, and I have some really cool pieces of gear to share with you all. For this trip, I brought two shelter systems. I have a tarp, a hammock, and I also have a tent. We'll talk about all that stuff later on, though. The backpack that I have here is very, very unique. This is a United States Air Force backpack. And we will talk again about this later on, but it's very unique. It's very cool. I'm starting the morning off with some coffee, some oatmeal, some super watered down oatmeal. That's the way I like it. That way I could just take it and drink it, drink it like a soup and get going. With the weather here in the mountains, we're stuck in a holding pattern and every single day it rains, it storms. Today they're calling for heavy rain, severe storms. We will see what happens. That's the reason why I came out so early or late last night, I guess. But I wanted to have some time to do some hiking, do some filming when it's not raining. And that's the only way that I can guarantee it. Right now, blue sky, there's a couple white wispy clouds, and that's about it. It's beautiful. It's breezy, feels good. In fact, this morning, it was almost cold, for summertime anyways. Well, everyone, I'm going to finish up the coffee, finish up my breakfast, pack up, hit the trail, then I will explain more about what I'm doing with this trip. All right, everyone, let's talk shop for a second. Let's talk about this trip. Now, might as well get the map out. That will explain quite a bit. So this is the map of the area. I parked over here at the Elk Garden parking lot and I've hiked in and I'm right around here at the moment. Now I'm going southbound on the AT and over here, I'm going to stop, find a campsite and basically just hang out and await some storms. Maybe later on tonight or tomorrow morning, we'll head over to Buzzard Rock and check out that incredible view. And folks, that is the plan. Not a super long hike, maybe 12 miles total in one of the most beautiful sections here of the AT in Virginia. I love it. As for last night, I camped right outside of the Elk Garden parking lot in the woods there. Pretty nice campsite. There was quite a bit of traffic though, rolling through, and that was pretty much continuous all night long. I'm getting closer and closer to White Top. A few minutes ago, I heard a car driving up the road, an old gravel road. I heard the car, stopped, paid attention, looked down, and found 20 bucks <laughs> laying on the ground. 
how about that? Trail money. Who finds trail money? Have I ever found money on the trail? I have no idea. I don't think so. Not that I remember. <laughs> 20 bucks covered my gas to come out here. <laughs> how sweet is that? All in all, this has been an awesome hike. It's beautiful out here. Temperatures are good. It's warm though. It's warm. As for where I'm going with this adventure, White Top Mountain is a really cool place. It's the second highest mountain in Virginia, and I've been there numerous times for numerous adventures, including some awesome winter storms. It's an incredible place, and you should definitely check it out if you haven't done so already. So as an update, it is now one o'clock in the afternoon and I am basically at White Top Mountain. I'm right at the base, the mountain's over here. I could exit the woods if I want to, hike the road. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've come across a really good campsite. This is not bad. And there's lots and lots of wood. There's many pros to this spot. First off, it's shaded, it's cooler, but I don't have a view and that's what I really want. So I think I'm going to hike a little bit more, come out of the woods and see about setting up camp outside of the woods. I mean, the thing is though, the sun's just beating down, the tent will get super hot, but the view will be good. So I know there's a spot up here. We'll go check it out and make a decision from there. It's been a good day so far. Headache gone, been drinking some water, the trail is pretty busy, actually. The one thing that I know for sure is that I need to pick a campsite and set up. Already storms and showers are developing. There's a pretty good sized cell off of the mountain here going away from us. So yeah, the sooner I can set up camp, the better it will be. Let me tell you everybody, this is a beautiful, amazing spot. The view here is incredible. 
<laughs> and let me tell you, those clouds are building big time. I will have to set up my tent here. This is just simply too awesome. <laughs> it is time to get some water then make some lunch and possibly throw the tarp up and make a sunblock. I'm not sure how I will do it yet, but I'll come up with something. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hi. Hi, good dog. Oh, yes, you're a good girl. Good doggy. Yes. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs>
as you all can see i have the tent set up and also my tarp which is making an awesome sunshade i could kick back i could relax i have this incredible view and i'm just watching these thunderheads build and collapse build and collapse let me tell you in the sun it's rather warm but underneath this the breeze is coming in it's awesome it really is As far as the tent goes, that is a very rare military surplus product. This is made by Nemo. There are not many of these out on the market. The tarp is a British military Basha tarp. And it's the perfect size for a hammock or a sunshade over your tent. But um, yeah, it's almost lunchtime. It is lunchtime. And what I have here is a British MRE. And I have chicken in black bean sauce, along with potatoes and beans in tomato sauce. Hmm, I think I will go with the potato and beans in tomato sauce. That sounds interesting. <laughs> now I could heat this up, but I mean, it's plenty hot already. So I think I will eat this right out of the bag. Yeah, I don't know what this is either. <laughs> you can't have any. I know. No. I think your mom and dad might be super mad if I fed you this. Whew. That looks weird. What do you think? Hmm? Folks, this stuff looks bizarre really really strange it doesn't smell super bad have some crackers I'll put it in there I don't think it can hurt it all right here we go wish me luck it's actually not bad Potato and beans and tomato sauce. The tomato sauce is orange. I've never seen anything quite like it before. It's um, scary looking, <laughs> but it's not bad. Some of these clouds are just going crazy. So instead of talking, I'm going to film those. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Get out of here. I'm hearing some thunder far, far off going away from me. Um, so far, everything coming this direction just kind of builds and collapses, and that's about it. I'm still hoping for tonight that some storms will come in. Like, I don't care if they hit me directly. Actually, I would prefer them to be off in the distance so I can take some video and photos. That would be sweet. As it is now, it's the hottest part of the day. It's about 3 o'clock, 3.30, something like that. And my plan is just to kick back and relax. It's too hot to be out in the open. Underneath the tarp, it's absolutely perfect, but outside of it, it's way too hot. When it comes to gear, I've already talked about the Basha British tarp. The tent is made by Nemo. That is the switchblade. That is part of their shield program. Very interesting. I've talked about this numerous times, so I'm not going to repeat myself. The sleeping pad is the Thermarest Marpad, which is no longer being made. You can find those every once in a while on eBay, but they're pretty rare too. 
The blanket is made by Snug Pack, and that is their jungle blanket. And this morning I used a Snug Pack hammock. Very inexpensive, good enough quality, and I stayed nice and dry and comfortable all night long. The chest rig that I've been wearing is the Helicon Tex Numbat. I've done a review on this. It's an awesome piece of kit, and it's also fairly affordable. Inside of this bag, I keep camera equipment, my map, my keys, and also my handgun. The canteen cook set that I'm using is a US military product, and a viewer sent me this. And you know who you are. Thank you very much. The pack that I'm using for this adventure is the Eagle Industries Multi-Mission Backpack. This pack was made for the United States Air Force, and they only made a handful of these in OD green before switching over to a different camo pattern. Around 2002, the United States Air Force joined forces with Eagle Industries to come up with a load-bearing backpack, and this is what they came up with. This is the DFLCS, which stands for Defensor Fortress Load Carrying System. This is the first time that a load carrying system had ever been developed for the United States Air Force specifically. It was around 2002 when this pack came out and uh, it went into the security forces hands. From what I understand, this was a limited run and there's just simply not many of these packs out on the market. You could find one of these every once in a while and they run like three, four hundred dollars on eBay. The green color, I have no idea how much it would cost. This pack is awesome. It really is. It has lots of pockets. There's molly everywhere. You have an internal frame sheet and it's really like a uh, turtle shell when you put this thing on. It really fits close to the body and it holds a ton. It looks to be on the smaller side, but in truth, it's a very large backpack. I mean, it can hold a ton of stuff. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have had a chair, a tent, sleeping pad, blanket, uh, let's see, the uh, tarp, um, hammock, my food, the canteen, my cup, and all the other bags that I have with me inside of this today. And I've been able to carry it with ease, with ease. All right, everyone. I have an idea. Since this is a military surplus trip, let's call someone who's in the military. How about my daughter? <laughs> is it work? Ah, okay. Hey, Daddy. Maddie! What you doing, kiddo? Oh, not much. Just resting. Yeah? Are you uh, having fun? No, quarantine is not fun. <laughs> okay, well, I'm recording right now, so if you want to, you can tell everybody what quarantine is and why you're doing it. Yeah, uh, so I'm in quarantine for two weeks because I'm headed to combat training, and before I go down to South Carolina, I have to basically quarantine in a green state, which is Virginia, Right. Um, before I travel down there. And Virginia is a green state because there's not too many COVID cases, is that right? Correct, and is a red state, so they made me travel to Virginia. Right, gotcha. Well, don't come to North Carolina. It's red, too. Uh, we have so many cases right now, it's not even funny. For the viewers, Maddie is about to deploy, and that's why she's getting her combat training. Now, Maddie, I'm going to ask you some questions, and you can answer those that you can, and, of course, decline if you don't want to answer. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, Madison, what do you do in the Navy? In the Navy, I am in the intelligence community. Can you tell us any classified top secret info? Sorry, try again next time. <laughs> <laughs> so she says all of this, right, folks? And I still have no idea what she really does, what all this means, but it's still pretty cool. Got to tell you. <laughs> she does uh, top secret stuff. That's neat. Now, um, okay. Next question. This one's personal. Who are you seeing right now? I am currently not seeing anyone right now. What about Chris? Chris is just a friend. Okay. <laughs> what do I hear? Oh. I think there's a vehicle going down the road. It sounds like it's about to fall apart. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How are you liking the military? The Navy? I absolutely love the military. I work in a joint command. Um, or a joint base. So a lot of the people that I work close with 
Air Force, Army, and Marines. And the Navy's just different. Um, right. Some people say we have it easy, maybe, probably. Uh, we don't have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go run every day. But um, I just think that the Navy, they take care of their people. And when I tell them, like, hey, this is my goal, this is what I want to do with my future, they actually take the time to help me prepare myself now so I can meet those goals in two years. Awesome. That's amazing. Maddie, it has been a long time since we've seen you. I think the last time I saw you was Christmas time. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get to see you until next year sometime, is that right? So when I get back from deployment, it'll be 2021. I can still only come see you if everything's better. Right. So it could even be longer than that. Yeah. Wow. Well, I personally do not think things are going to get better with the virus. This thing is here to stay unless something crazy happens or a vaccine is made. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that I think unless a vaccine happens, this will continue um, long into 2021 and life will not return to normal, unfortunately. Yeah, I think you're right. Yes, it is definitely hard. Um, it's, it's affected everyone, it, even the military, which I was surprised. I didn't think the military was going to um, respond in the way that it did. Right. Um, I'm grateful that they responded so quickly um but i was still surprised because it was immediate lockdown for everyone wow a lot of people on ships when they were out forward on deployments a lot of my friends they are on lockdown they have been on sea since this thing started and they're not coming back anytime soon wow same with people who are supposed to pcs which means move to a different location um they are stuck until further notice uh -huh. Okay, next question. What bad habits have you picked up while in the Navy? Oh gosh, you really want to know? Yeah, go for it. You're an adult. My bad habits, definitely um, smoking. Yeah. Uh, cigarettes, vaping. Uh, dipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dipping, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, I've definitely dipped like twice. Okay. Um, I've tried it twice. Yeah, so for the first almost year, yeah. almost, I would say I was very, um, no, I don't want to smoke, no, thank you, that's not my thing, I'm, you know, no, I'm good. And then, you know, one day something stressful happens and you're just like, okay, let me try it. And then you never stop. Yeah. You know? Are you it's still smoking now? Unfortunately, I am. Yeah. I quit for three weeks. Yeah. And then it's one of those things in Navy where when you're working, you're like, everyone want to go to the smoke pit? And when you go out to the smoke <laughs> pit, that's just what you do. You just go outside, you hang out, and you smoke, and then you go back to work. I also curse like a sailor. I have to say that. Yeah, I have that problem too, and I'm not in the Navy. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Well, it's the same thing. I was doing really good, and then over time, you, it just, you just pick it up. Yeah. Uh, You're foul of mouth like Grammy now. I, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I love you. You're foul, so... Well, Maddie, it's, I, I, I can't take too long here. I'm gonna run out of memory card space, but I'm going to say goodbye to the camera. Goodbye, camera. Maddie and I, you could, you and I could keep talking if you want to. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. All right, say goodbye to the viewers. Goodbye, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? <laughs> <laughs>
And I tell you, this really has made this trip awesome. If it wasn't for the tarp, <laughs> I would have had to have been stuck in the woods the entire time. And the overall setup here was very, very easy to do. So you can see how I've taken the tarp, strung it over the tent, and then staked it out behind it. Then I have the two sticks on the sides, the one in the center to raise the roof. With this setup, I've been fully protected from the sun, and if it rains, from the rain as well. Without a doubt, this tarp was worth the wait. No doubt about it. It's getting pretty close to sundown, and I figured that we'll do a short hike. Go watch the sun set together. <laughs> and we'll see if we can find some more money on this trail. I still cannot believe that I found 20 bucks. That's crazy. sunset was okay nothing all that special and that's how it goes sometimes nonetheless this is a beautiful spot and how awesome is it that I have it all to myself <laughs> I'll tell you what it's breezy it feels good like it's not cold I mean it's just right at that level where I'm just totally comfortable As I was hiking out here, I was thinking, there's a comet, and I should be able to see it tonight, as long as it's not cloudy. Okay. Well, it's time for me to get out of here. I think instead of going through the forest, I'm going to climb the hill here, go all the way around, connect with the road, and then go down back to my tent.
in no time I will be back at camp. This hike here is maybe two miles, something like that. Let me tell you. <laughs> it feels so good. It's amazing. Lord. Now folks, that is a fire right there. and it feels amazing. It's time for dinner. The chicken in black bean sauce. Sounds dangerous, but I'll do it. All in all, this does not smell bad. <laughs> in fact, it looks pretty good. You know, folks, I was thinking earlier about military surplus and how there's so many civilian companies out there that you wouldn't expect that make military gear. Nemo is a good example of this. They've been making civilian tents for a long time, but they also have a military division. And that's true with a lot of companies or at least the United States government, the United States military has adopted their products. Hmm. Dang, that is awesome. Chicken in black bean sauce. Cheers everyone, that is great. Hmm. A viewer sent this in to me and I appreciate it big time. That is really good. Before I came out on this trip, I did a little bit of research about companies who have military products that you wouldn't expect. And you might find some of these to be interesting. So we have Nemo, right? How about Gregory, Kelty, Arteryx, Outdoor Research, Gerber, Coleman, MSR, Catadyne Water Filters, Camelback, most people know that one. Mountain Hardware, Thermarest, Goal Zero, they make solar panels, batteries, whatnot. Oakley, Patagonia, Pretzel, The North Face, Marmot, Black Diamond, Osprey, Stanley, and there are many, many others, but I found that to be really interesting. With a lot of these products, they're so obscure, sometimes you will never see them. For an example, Osprey packs. They have the Talon 33, which I believe is a radio pack of some sort.
everyone it is bedtime i'm tired <laughs> it's been a, a very long day it's been a good day but i'm done for now i'll tell you what everyone it's chilly up here it feels amazing there's a nice breeze and that means I'm going to sleep good. All right, that's it. 100% sealed up, 100% ready for bed. Whew, it is 11 o'clock, 11.09. And I tell you what, if you're close to this area, White Top Mountain is an amazing place to visit. It's about 10 degrees cooler than everywhere else the views are amazing. There's campsites everywhere, in the forest, out in the open. Super nice. Now with this trip, I've had a lot of fun. This military gear is so sweet. I love every single piece. That is the only United States Air Force pack that I have. I like it. I do. But um, instead of talking, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you all in the morning. Or I will bring you all back if it storms or something like that. And it might. Uh, the sky's just been flashing, just rocking and rolling. And right now, I mean, it's just all around us. <laughs> it's just everywhere. But um, Good night. See you all in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is seven o'clock in the morning, and last night was very nice. Very nice. Uh, breezy. It's chilly this morning. It's about 60 degrees, but I'm very comfortable. It never did storm or anything like that, but it flashed lightning, I mean, all night long. Never did hear any thunder or anything. All the storms were pretty far off. But it was a, just a quiet night, and basically as soon as I got inside the tent, I was out, I was done, I was tired, and <laughs> just out. Beautiful up here.
That's a good cup of coffee right there. The water's heated up for my breakfast. Having oatmeal again. I've had so much fun. I think I will come back sometime soon and maybe do a full on hammock adventure. I've been exploring the woods somewhat and there's lots of places to hang at that nobody would ever even notice you. So, <laughs> it's something we may come back and do. Up on top of the hill, there's a uh, bunch of FAA towers and some cell phone towers. I think they're cell phone towers. And um, it's pretty interesting. The last time I was up there, which was quite a while ago, I had a camera and it was able to pick up on the FAA frequencies. It's like uh, communication between pilots and a tower or something. I don't know, but it's interesting. looks like the fog is coming down from the mountaintop. Unfortunately, I don't have good enough service right now to check the, uh, the radar. Most of this mountain is a dead zone, except for like <laughs> a little patch over there or a little patch over here. It works that randomly, but... My plan is to get out of here fairly soon. I'm going to finish up the coffee, have my breakfast, pack up, and that is where the adventure ends. This has been a good trip. The lone wolf has had fun. <laughs> my question for you all is this. When was the last time that your inner wolf had fun? Life is all about work, responsibility, and having fun. You have to make your life mean something to you not to anybody else and you have to fill it with moments that please you as long as those moments don't bother anyone else have fun that's the way I see it everything I do in my life I tried to have as little of an impact upon the environment and upon other people as possible as far as like when I go out for a trip I'm not going to fly a drone and irritate the piss out of everyone you know what I mean? I could be seen, I don't want to be heard, and that's the way that I like to go about things. To be honest, everyone, I don't like the way that the sky looks, and it's my guess that rain is on the way. Well, everyone, this adventure is over. Thank you all very much for joining me for this trip. On to the next. If you have any questions, email me. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this cool military gear, and I will see you all on the flip side. Strength and honor. Be good, be well. Bye. Another little quick update. It has begun raining. <laughs> My adventure out of here is about to get much, much more interesting. All right, for real, bye everybody.